Buongiorno and benvenuto to my patio in northern Italy. In this video I'm continuing the restoration of Zio Dino's 1986 Viglia Triestina Ramato road bike with the complete overhaul of the Campagnolo Novo Record Strada Superleggeri pedals. While you're here, why not check out the other videos in this restoration series, including the full service of the GPM crankset and bottom bracket you see before you. Now, let's get into it. Andiamo! Here we have the left pedal in front of us. It is marked with an S for Sinistra near the standard 15mm wrench flats. The right pedal is marked D for Destra. First step is to remove the leather strap. The leather is very dry and should be replaced, but since I am unlikely to use these pedals much and a new old stock replacement would cost a fortune, I'll try to recondition them myself with some leather products that I have at home already. With the strap removed, I can now remove the toe clip. That is achieved by unscrewing these two bolts at the front with an 8mm socket. The chrome finish has a lot of spots of surface rust which I hope I can remove with aluminium foil. Now let's have a closer look at the pedal body. One oddity is that the quill has been filed off these pedals. I have no idea why. But let me know in the comment section below if you do. To get to the internals of this pedal, I've got to gently unscrew the plastic end cap. A set of pliers can help loosen it, as shown. The end cap reveals the end of the pedal spindle and lots of original grease that I'll wipe away to get to the lock nut and outer cone. With some grease removed, you can see the lock nut, cone and the first set of ball bearings. To get the lock nut undone, I'm going to hold the pedal axle secure with a 15mm wrench, but this is better achieved with a vise. More on that later. The lock nut itself takes an 11mm socket. Now comes the tricky part. The cone has 13mm wrench flats, but it sits well inside the pedal body and is hard to reach. But once you get a spanner properly engaged on the cone, you can use the pedal spindle to unscrew it, like shown. But before it is completely undone, stop, because otherwise you will lose the ball bearings. Hold the axle and pedal body together in one hand and carefully unscrew the cone fully. Now remove the loose ball bearings. I'm using a strong magnet and as you can see the magnet is attracted to the pedal axle which indicates a ferrous metal, in this case steel, rather than titanium used in the near identical super record version of these pedals. Now carefully flip the pedal over and remove the spindle, making sure not to lose any ball bearings. And that's it, the rest of the pedal doesn't come apart. Time to give it a deep clean. I'm back. This exploded view of these Campagnolo Record Strada Superleggeri pedals can also be found on my Twitter and Instagram. Links below. Assembly starts with a healthy dose of grease to the bearing races at both ends of the pedal. Starting with the inside, place each of the 12 ball bearings snugly into the greased cup. 
The grease should hold them in place. Now add a bit of grease to the cone bearing race of the pedal spindle. and carefully insert the spindle into the pedal body without dislodging any bearings. Be careful in this step because I noticed that the spindle was slightly magnetic. The pedal spindle should spin smoothly and be fully seated in the pedal body. Now I can place the remaining 12 ball bearings into the outer cup. Having skinny fingers would help here. Just as before, the ball bearings fit snugly into place. Another generous layer of grease and then the cone can go on. Remember that it is well recessed into the pedal body, so this can take a while. After it is in place, just contacting the bearings, but not too tight. Preload adjustment comes later. Add the slotted washer and then the lock nut. Just thread it on, but don't tighten it down yet. Onto the preload adjustment. You really are best using a table vise to hold the pedal axle tightly in place for this step. I do have one, but it is in the dark and messy stanzone, not adapt for filming. So I'm going to demonstrate the technique here. Just like the cup and cone GPM a bottom bracket from video 3 of this series, or indeed the Campagnolo hubs which we'll feature in a future video, the goal of this adjustment is to tighten the cone just enough to eliminate side to side play, but just loose enough to let the bearings roll smoothly. With the lock nut loose, tighten the cone with the 13mm spanner in small increments. Test the play after each adjustment. Once you think it's adjusted just right, hold the cone in place with the spanner and tighten the lock nut onto it. Test and repeat until perfect. It took me a good 10 to 15 minutes with the pedal in a proper table vise to get it adjusted properly. The recessed cone position makes it very frustrating and fiddly. Now with that over with, the pedal is spinning nice and smooth. All that is left is to pack the end cap with grease and screw it into place. It's only plastic so it can easily cross thread. As you can see, I've been extra generous with grease. So all the excess is leaking out of the little grease port in the middle of the end cap. However, in theory, this extra grease should help keep water and grit out of the inner workings. Time to wipe off the excess. All that remains is to attach the toe clip. Grease the bolts and they need an 8mm socket.
Before we get into the installation, just a quick weight check. 231 grams for pedal, toe clip and strap. That makes 462 grams for the pair. Pretty heavy considering that today's entry level look Kio Classic 3 pedals plus cleats come in at 350 grams and only get lighter from there. On to the install. Here I've got the right pedal which is marked D for Destra on the wrench flats. I'm using anti-seize compound on the threads, my trusty Park Tool ASC1. Now very carefully thread this pedal into the crank arm clockwise. The left pedal threads in anti-clockwise. Make sure it doesn't cross thread. Then tighten it up with a 15mm wrench. The wrench flats are wide enough for a standard one, no need for a specific pedal wrench. Both pedals are installed. I'm still in the process of cleaning the toe straps. Anyway, that's enough for now. I hope you found this video informative. Let me know in the comment section down below. Next up is the overhaul of the Campagnolo hubs. Until then, arrivederci!